Hey everyone, I'm back and today we're going to be talking about The Last Black Man in San Francisco and this movie came out in 2019. This movie was on my watch list because I saw the trailer at one point and it looked interesting to me. Also, it was a title that was very easy for me to remember because it was very long and <laughs> it always stood out to me and having actually watched the movie, I enjoyed the movie overall. I found it to be effective at certain points, and I do have some issues with it, but overall I did enjoy the experience, and I think this movie is very well shot, and there's some beautiful shots of San Francisco, although you don't really get many of those, it's mostly just focused on specific buildings, and kind of focused on the characters, and it still looks nice at what uh, we actually get, and... I like the characters in this movie a lot. They're all very likable characters. And it's not like a Stephen King adaptation where the characters you're supposed to care about are very likable, but everyone else is just zero redeeming elements about them. They're just evil people and either that or they're just completely unlikable and it's very black and white. But in this movie, it's kind of that, but... Uh, there's a bit more grayness uh, to the characters, uh, like the characters you're not supposed to like. Can't, like, you understand uh, their perspective, even if th that doesn't make them good people. <laughs> like, you can understand that this type of person would exist, and that's uh, another thing that I really love about the movie. The film feels very authentic. Everyone feels like a real person. No one feels cheesy or corny or, like, out of place. They all feel as though they're a part of uh, this world uh, that this movie is set in. And that I really liked. And I enjoyed how grounded everything was. I thought the music was good, although I did find it to be a bit overused. Another issue I had with this movie, kind of, is that it's not really a film that I would rewatch. Like, it's good. I... I'm happy that I watched it, and I would recommend it to you to check it out, but I don't know what I would get out of it upon multiple viewings. Like, I just don't feel compelled to revisit this film anytime soon. Mostly because I wasn't super attached to the story. I think it's a good story, but I don't love it overall. There were points where it did feel a little repetitive but most of it it felt very fresh and not rehashing what we already saw but uh, there are parts of the movie uh, where it's not really progressing the story at all and I feel it could have been removed and it is a film that uh, kind of wants you to think about it and really absorb the characters and understand the situation that they're in and I feel like it's a movie that uh, can be very relatable to a lot of people and I did too I related to the characters I wanted to see their journey and where they would go and there wasn't really anything offensively bad about uh, the film overall except for maybe a couple shots that could have been better but most of it was uh, pretty good and solid and there isn't really too much to talk about the, with this movie without spoiling anything. And the last thing I can say about this movie without spoiling anything, I like uh, the stuff in the third act and uh, how it impacts the characters. That's what I'm going to remember this movie for the most. And check this movie out uh, for sure. I found it to be good. I enjoyed uh, the story. I liked uh, what it was doing. And there were lots of uh, things that uh, made it interesting. I enjoyed the performances. I know I didn't really say uh, much about the performances. Everyone does a good job. No one really stands out as incredible or great, but no one was distracting to me, so I'll say that much. And good movie. Check it out. Not much else to say beyond that, for me at least. So with all that being said, I'm going to give The Last Black Man in San Francisco a 7 out of 10. 
Thank you for watching my videos. As always, if you enjoyed this review, be sure to leave a like and comment down below you thought of The Last Black Man in San Francisco and my social media links. They will all be in the description, so follow me there. And last but not least, subscribe to be a part of Fully Nation, and I'll see you when I get my next review up, and that is going to be for Joyride from 2001. So look forward to that, but until I get that up, thank you for watching, and have a great day.